How's it going everyone? Landon with Late Model Restoration. This video will cover my quick walkthrough on how to properly charge the AC system in your Mustang. Having a properly charged and healthy air conditioning system in your Mustang is a luxury everyone should have because after all on a hot summer day and not having AC, well that's just no fun at all. This video will show any Mustang owner how to properly charge their system using R134A refrigerant. Now before doing this, it is important to have some common knowledge on how an AC system works and that a licensed HVAC technician properly empties your system. You'll want to have on hand some PAG oil or charge oil and a few bottles of R134A refrigerant. Be sure and consult your owner's manual or the underhood sticker to see how much your system takes. In our case, this Fox body has an R12 weight amount, which is going to be slightly different because the system's been converted to R134A refrigerant using a premium 5.0 resto conversion kit. If your situation is similar, you want to start out at approximately 75% of the R12 weight amount and progressively go up from there until the system is properly charged. To charge the AC system in your Mustang at home, you'll want to have on hand a decent set of manifold gauges, a vacuum pump, PAG oil or charge oil, a few bottles of R134A refrigerant, and a can tap. With the system properly emptied, you can begin by connecting the low and high side service ports. Then you can connect the vacuum line to the vacuum pump. This connection only needs to be finger tight. Once connected, make sure the high side valve is fully closed and the low side valve is open. Turn on the vacuum pump and let the pump run for 15 to 30 minutes. Once the gauge reads 30 inches of mercury for vacuum, close the valve and then turn off the pump. Let the system sit for approximately one hour to see if there are any leaks in the system. When that is verified, open the valve and run the pump for an additional 30 to 45 minutes. Now you can close the valve, turn off the pump, and then disconnect the vacuum line. If your system needs oil, now would be the time to add it. Pour a little bit of oil into the vacuum line before you connect your refrigerant. Now you can screw on the can tap, pierce the can of Freon, and then go ahead and open the low side valve. When the first can is empty, close the valve on the low side, and then start the vehicle. Turn the AC on and the fan speed on high. If your compressor doesn't kick on, check out this simple trick. Make a jumper and install it onto the clutch cycling switch electrical connection. With the AC still running, pierce another can of Freon and completely fill the system to the recommended amount. Depending on the ambient temperature you are in, your low and high side pressures will differ. Our pressures were spot on since we were working in a room that was approximately 70 degrees. Be sure and remove your jumper and reconnect the cycling switch electrical connection. Take this time to spray some soapy water over all your connections to verify that there aren't any leaks present. Use the thermometer to verify the temperature coming out of the vents is blowing cold. And then you're all finished. Remember, have a licensed HVAC technician properly drain your system before you charge it. Also, set aside a few hours to get this accomplished. To see more helpful videos like this one, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Of course, for all things 1979 to present Mustangs, keep it right here with the real Mustang enthusiasts, LMR.com.